Okay, hi all. Uh, now we are going to discuss the last type of solenoid that is conical solenoids in detail. And uh, conical solenoid actuators can be used in long stroke applications mainly, automotive door locking system, and due to their high force over long stroke capability. And it uh, due to the architectural change in the system, the same change in the system, uh, apart from last three we have discussed, the sol conical solenoid have uh, some um, changes or uh, in, the, in, the, in the sense of uh, its performance. The response time of the conical solenoid is very high. And due to the very high uh, response time, uh, we, can, we can't be able to embed this system into the real-time, hard real-time applications. Okay, and they can also be applied in situations where armature can be developed a relatively large force due to the smaller magnetic air gap than axial stroke. And anyway, even though its uh, response time is very high, uh, it, it is mainly using for creating large force application and with, with the aid of uh, even though it have low air gap inside the system it is capable of producing large force okay in outwards the conical solenoid configuration has limited application in long stroke travel uh, due to without fast response time we have already said that and this is because the conical solenoid configuration has a single main air gap within the system uh, for flex to cross that is always small smaller than when comparing with the last three systems mechanical travel distance and uh, one practice air gap that usually perpendicular to the direction of motion and this the system that means uh, the diagram as reflects the conical solenoid that the consists of conical plugger over here and it consists of a housing and it have a coil and uh, it have a plugger stopper and the air gap is also not unique and this architecture named as conical solenoid the structure of the uh, plugger should be in the form of a conical structure and that's why it's a the structure is named as conical solenoid and uh, moving to the next slide, the inner pole surface of the main air gap carries the flux that is perpendicular to its surface, but not perpendicular to the axial motion. Okay, even though the system is the entire plugger solenoid section is perpendicular to the plugger stopper and per, sorry perpendicular to the coil uh, generating the magnetic flux, and that is not considerable in the case of design. Uh, due to the conical structure that I mean to say here and this flux crossing a parasitic air gap does not contribute to the axial force and in the most cases when the parasitic air gap is even around the axis of the symmetry uh, this force cancelled out because of the uh, air gap that present in the system and also the small changes in the air gap even though if you are exciting the system, uh, the force is generating not that much force. If the force is generating, then it gets cancelled out uh, not rapidly after a, a specific time uh, because of the design. Okay. And depending on the requirements and application, the inner stop devices or versions are considered as shown in figure. And this is a static characteristic. And uh, this is this is a figure I mentioned in the last point. Conical plucker solenoid that we have already uh, um, made a look in this. And this is the static characteristics. Okay. And advanced if if you are applying the voltage like this. And the system is not that much responsive from this flex, uh, even we can uh, realize that. Even though it's removing uh, its entire voltage that we are applying to the device, it maintaining a flex inside the system due to the design. Okay, we can, we can see here. But in the last case, in the last case, uh, when we are going in deep, 
uh, this is in the case of uh, characteristics in the case of ball type solenoid when we are uh, went to the, the normal zeroth position of the applied voltage and we are not applying any force any voltage over the over the device then it will be the flux will be zero but in the case of this solenoid the flux is not zero is not not going to the uh, zeroth position it maintaining a flux inside the device due to the lack of uh, total discharging uh, capability less in the system okay and the current is also maintaining a loop in the inside the system that is shown in the figure even though if you are removing uh, the voltage and after a specified time based on the structure of the device they then only the system will uh, comes to its original position after removing your voltage even okay and the next force is also uh, initially lagging but it going up after a specific time okay spring fee so spring and force and also displacement also is contributing a normal uh, carry over here that means the displacement it it always holding the system even though if you are removing the applied voltage okay that we can usable for different application if after after if you are removing the voltage your uh, actuator is holding something that we can applicable for different applications in sense okay and this is the uh, this are some characteristics of the um, conical solenoid okay and this uh, are the some dynamic characteristics and when we are applying the voltage it will the coil will generate the magnetic flux initially uh, after 1 millisecond it will generate a flux like this at the first figure that is denoted as a and it moving towards is starting moving towards the plugger stopper and by the conical uh, plugger and as time goes up the voltage is also uh, influencing your our device to hold the entire magnetic flux in the system and due to the magnetic flux that we is uh, trying to move and uh, the for in the the first figure as well as the second figure we can visible that there is not a uh, comparable change in the moving part that means plugger part in the system you can say the air gap is almost almost, uh, almost similar that is not uh, easily we can recognize the change we can't be able to recognize the change easily uh, in sense of moving okay but in the case of after 4 millisecond after 3 millisecond it uh, try it's starting to move towards the plugger stopper and after 4 milliseconds, it's completely closing. Okay. And up to the mark, up, up to 2 milliseconds, there is no change, there is no visible change in the inside the system. Okay. So that's why we can say that this system is uh, not fast responsing that much, like we have discussed in the case of last three. And these are the uh, dynamic and static characteristics of the this plugger zone, cortical solenoid. Okay, that's all about uh, this one. Thank you.